This could be our last goodbye, our last goodbye, she never told me why. This could be our last goodbye, oh I won't meet again. We watched her breathing through the night, through the night with a candle burning bright. She couldn't get to sleep that night, she won't have that problem anymore. My bathroom looks like a crime scene now, blood on the floor and the walls in the loo. Let's hope they never find her body or I'll be a dead woman too. Last time on Deceiver of Fools, Caleb asked Elibrius to apologize to Akuma for cutting off her wings. Then he passive-aggressively fished for pity and did a funny dance. We learned that Caleb can't just rage quit life and that Vaughn was trying to make Akuma doubt her bond to Elibrius by claiming Elibrius was under a love spell, but Elibrius says he's immune to love spells because... reasons. Then Cory came in and everyone started screaming. Caleb apologized for everything and the Grim Reaper decided to enunciate his ellipses before asking if he could get his scythe out. Sadly, everyone ignored him. Cinnamon tried to talk about something that wasn't drama, but sadly, everyone ignored her as well, except for Everin. Vaughn came in and was a giant bag of dick. Unfortunately, no one ignored him. I guess they can't really, since he was wearing that giant tutu. God, he looks hot. Um, anyway, he kidnapped Caleb and then stood around talking about it for several minutes. Akuma started spouting gibberish and possibly foaming at the mouth. Is she Pentecostal, by the way? The cast sent out a search party for Caleb. Cory made a big deal about Akuma's non-existent injuries, though Akuma herself insisted she was unhurt, and then Elibrius burst into song and it put Akuma to sleep. Commentary was not impressed, though I thought it was a fairly decent rendition. Cory and Elibrius recapped the battle between Akuma and Dorian, and Cory annoyed everyone by caps locking about Akuma's supposed injuries. I guess that woke Akuma up. And then Elibrius told her that Caleb had made him promise to claim bond her to prevent Vaughn from taking Akuma as his mate, although personally I think it would be pretty interesting seeing Akuma mated to Vaughn. Oh well, I guess that's what fanfic is for. Elibrius told Akuma that Cory's mother was the one who told Caleb to rip Akuma's alleged wings off. And that's where we left off. Right, enjoy the show. of course. What? You heard me. Akuma, you must remember that Caleb was not acting of his own free will. He wanted me to apologize for him. Akuma, don't! Please, calm down! You're going to hurt yourself! Leave! What? You didn't expect me to keep the truth from her, did you? She has a right to know. Stop her! Keep it up! Keep it up! Na 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 na! Take it off! Take it off! Na 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 na! Don't stop! Don't stop! Akuma, whatever you're doing, stop it. Make it in order! I want a side of chicken nuggets and a side of onion rings. That's rings made out of your cousin. Crispy and deep fried as fuck. A Neapolitan milkshake. A bucket of fries and a diet Dr. Pepper because fuck you! Call me crazy, but it already sounded like an imperative statement. It only works when Librius does it. I know because I tried it earlier. Hey, good idea. Let me find a gun. Sorry, ladies, but the show's gunman doesn't appear until season three. What is she doing in specific? She's reopening her wounds, Lee! Order her to stop! Akuma, I order you to stop reopening your wounds. You must let yourself heal. Pour salt in them. That's awesome! Lee, next time you're up center, I will kick your ass myself and I won't care whose body you're in. Understand? Panera Bread! Love the skin you're in! What? What do you mean that's not right? Ugh, I give up. There's no pleasing you. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Caleb asked me to apologize for him and I did. 
Don't you think I also have the right to live? She dies, I die, remember? Quick, someone assassinate Akuma. I don't want her to die. That wasn't my intention, Cory. I want her to live and I want her to heal. Then you should have thought before opening your mouth. Answer to life, the universe, and everything? 42. She is in no condition to hear shit like that and you know it. You should also try to stay on the topic and not be random. Now I will let her talk to you again. try. There is no try! Yoda, you are not. A pretentious twat waffle you are. Fuck off, you should. RAGE QUIT! Yay, she actually listened to me! Akuma. I should have delayed that information until later. I'm sorry I upset you in your delicate state. I was more worried about you, sir! You have just found out what happens when you hurt one of her loved ones! Achievement unlocked! But all she really did was make empty threats. She couldn't bloody well hurt an Ebrace if she tried. Please, don't scare her like that again! Force her to deep throat Zeus, videotape it, and show the tape to Hera. Epiphany, you're a zo uh, previously living person. She can't kill you. Hmm, Akuma claims to be part Greek and descended from angels. We could have her show the tape to Hera. Not for her, but who cares? Don't tell me not to scare her when you're the one attempting suicide. How was I supposed to respond to that? She seems fond of emotional manipulation. I do not know. I cannot begin to imagine your pain, but remember, if you die, she dies. I can't believe, Caleb, but I trusted him! Akuma, he had no free will in doing that. He wouldn't have. I still shouldn't have trusted him, but I will honor him! No. You have no soul. Your soul is destroyed! <laughs> And then you eat them. When you told me, Caleb... Are you sure? The only thing I could feel was the pain of losing my wings again and the betrayal I felt. Well, I don't know about a party, so then I wasn't invited either. If I had known... If I had known what kind of person Peppercorn would be, either of the Heart Girls would be, I would have murdered them in the cradle. Better yet, I'd have killed Ambrina. So you think? Dude, you're not involved in Celestia's affairs, and you don't know Alibrius anywhere near well enough to know what he would have done in hindsight. Pipe the fuck down. point, but she should still pipe the fuck down. What did Peppercorn look like? It's been hundreds, if not thousands of years since I last saw her as a woman of twenty. Hundreds. It has to be hundreds. Why do you suppose that? And Peppercorn was a generation just before Adelaide, wasn't she? 
Her sister Foxglove was Adelaide's mother. There could still be thousands. I remember that she had dark hair and dark eyes and that she was remarkably thin, but she may have changed her appearance since leaving Celestia. Almost like a china doll in looks? Yes. Yeah, that was her. I would like to turn back time and kill them in the womb. If I could... <coughs> Wait, I think I'm a little hoarse. Wait, I got this one. You're the audience. I'm Q Music. No, seriously, I got this. If I could turn back time If I could find a way I'd take back those words that hurt you And you'd stay Caleb is the only one that could make what I needed to survive at that point in my life Well, at least no one will ever accuse her of being incapable of making eye statements. I am sorry he's had such a terrible life. Same for you. <coughs> hmm? Kitty found him! He and Floor are taking him to Kingdom's Keep! He'll be safe there! I hope so. Akuma, did Orion happen to mention casting a love spell on me? That's probably because she's ignoring him and changing the subject. Burial rites. Fish food. That's not entirely true, and you know it. Go away, Fennel. Fine. Some of our more honored corpses are buried directly into the ground. No coffin, and candles are lit around the area. <coughs> what is it, Akuma? Did Timmy fall down the well again? of spite? He does, doesn't it? Is there a way to get Caleb to Celestia? Neferbelli and Sutakua can tend to his wounds. They're the most powerful healers I know. They will have him healed in hours or less if it's possible to get him there. Is there someone else who can open it? Maybe Matthew, but he could never make it in time. And here I thought he'd be the premature type. I'm so sorry. Ding dong! Lee, hang on! This is going to feel weird! What are you doing? Dude, stop touching yourselves naughty parts. Cory, no! You idiot! When fondling souls, always use an ectoplasmic condom. Thank you, I do agree. What did she do? Good. Now, Akuma, as to what I'd asked before. Did Orion mention using a love spell on me, or is Vaughn lying about that? Please tell me what you know. Or perhaps she simply doesn't know anything. It would, but I suspect that her entire existence is a blight in and of itself. Then I will tell you something. I didn't mention this earlier, though I probably should have. I want to tell you that love spells, any spells that affect emotion, don't have much of an effect on me, if any at all. I should know. I played pranks that involved magically toying with the emotions of others, 
and I've had the same plate on me. Somewhere along the line, it stopped affecting me. Whee! He's falling. I made it. And they're working at him right now! Good. Akuma, will you please say something? Please. You sure? I do believe that was the translation, Piff. Let's just take comfort in the fact that, unlike her, we have brains to run out of our ears. I wouldn't risk telling you if I weren't absolutely certain. If you are willing to take a risk, I guess I will too. I have nothing left to lose when it comes to love anyway. Pound! That's a rather sordid way of looking at it. I take it from your blank stares that Orion did say something then. That explains the strange vibrations I've been feeling then. Other than that, my feelings for you are genuine. Yeah, so are mine, but mine are more along the lines of disgust and revulsion. He told me during the first part of the battle this morning while we were fighting. Caleb told me what that shukra did to you. referring to something so vile that roaches are gods compared to it. It's less offensive to the female gender as a whole than calling someone a cunt. <laughs> Let's rejoice in Orion's death then, shall we? You're getting <laughs> English, please. You're not I want to find his corpse and somehow reanimate it in such a way as to make it a helpless puppet. I want to rearrange its anatomy until, to quote a great movie, its insides are out, its outsides are in, and its entrails become its extrails. First of all, that's a paraphrase, not a direct quotation. Second, are you planning to quote that dancing part later with the birdie in the branch? I love that line. I am not, however, angry with you. Cory's soul was locked in a gem that was being held hostage by Orion, if memory serves. Tampering with souls is dangerous. I hate that you had to go to such lengths to retrieve Cory's, but the fact that he stole it in the first place is unforgivable. I am lucky. Your power saved me. I said it before and I will continue to say it. I hope that Shukra's soul rots in limbo for all eternity. Ooh, better credit Lenore for that line. I am lucky that you finally accepted my power. I was lucky I could accept it. If anyone has a black cat, now would be the time to let it loose on stage. I'm glad you're alive. Shukra Saki Sephokri Archea Vorborste, right, Libris? I don't think Vorborste was part of it, but sure. Yes, Cinnamon, that is close enough. She repeated what I said about wanting Orion's soul to rot in limbo for all eternity. Rage quit! I just wish... Not Drake <laughs> Drake as in dragon? If so, then it's cool. <laughs> Never mind. Go on, she's gone. With Mary and Pippin, I suppose? No, my wish wasn't that important. It is to me. From context, I assume she said, no, Drake is gone. The only reason Orion didn't finish the spell was because Drake stopped him, Lee. I... he's dead again! <laughs> Let's bring him back to life and kill him again! Wait till season three or four, ladies. Four seasons of this crap? You've got to be kidding!
Oh, treasure the memories you have of Drake before his untimely demise. I know it's much easier to give that kind of advice than it is to follow it. Then stop whining and put yourself out of your misery and everyone else's. I'm sorry for your pain. Akuma, you mentioned that black tigers had died out in your dimension. Yes, black with red stripes. They're rare, but in Celestia, they're still in existence. Really? 20 bucks says they're not. Twenty bucks for every tiger he asks you to engineer, or twenty bucks saying he'll only ask you to engineer one. Yeah, I'm not taking that bet. I guess I am not alone then. I am happy just to know that there are some left. It was a wonderful gift, Lee. In Mahanes and Kay's absence, we have four Malime, where we should have six. So, what does that mean? Soon I'm going to leave, but I have named my heir, the one to inherit my powers and authority. That heir is Usagi Tenhui's dear. Ouch! That's his name! And who gave him that name again? You already did, Piff. His original name was Hottie Woodlove. When Librius bought him, he renamed him Rabbit the Pet. <laughs> However, that leaves two other vacancies. Noirioni Island, across the ocean from Paru Village and to the west. To the west of Noirioni Village is a jungle area of sorts. I believe that is where the Black Tigers are. Will this be our last goodbye? Or will he ever tell me why? Will this be our last goodbye? Or will we meet? Again. I snuck into his room that night with a candle burning bright. Nightmares kept him up all night, but now he sleeps forever. He wanted her to meet us halfway from Delaware, coming to the bay. When she didn't come to meet us that day, he locked himself sulking in his room. Everyone knows you reap what you sow. Perhaps I went a little overboard, but if they never find his body, then no one ever has to know. This could be our last goodbye, last goodbye, she never told me why. This could be our last goodbye, oh why won't we meet again? We watched her breathing through the night, through the night, with a candle burning bright. She couldn't get to sleep that night, she won't have that problem anymore. She was meant to meet us halfway, meet us halfway, coming from the bay. She broke her promise to meet us that day, she never could follow through. My bathroom looks like a crime scene now Blood on the floor and the walls of the loo Let's hope they never find her body Or I'll be a 